Hey guys, got a 2019 Chevy Silverado. We're changing the front bumper on. I will show you how to remove and install this front bumper. So pop the hood. You're gonna see a bunch of clips that look like this. Get your fork underneath, lift the top, and then get underneath there. Take all the clips out that are holding this radiator cover on, and then we'll get to the grill right after. You're gonna also want to take off this little handle for your hood latch. There's two T15 screws holding it on. Now you got four 10 millimeter head bolts on the top of the grill to take off. So now you got these wings on this grill. There's going to be push in clips in behind there. There'll be some along the bottom, so that's why I have the tape here because I'm going to be using my fork and gently prying it out without hopefully scratching anything or breaking anything. So I've got it partially taken out. You can see there's that style of push in clip there that holds these wings on. Then there's those standard Chevy clips right there that hold the rest and that'll be holding the bottom on as well. So there's the clips on the side, those metal ones there along the bottom, one in the middle there, same on that side. So those ones click into the headlights, they go there, they go there, right there in the middle, and again on the other side. So when you get underneath the vehicle, don't mind this broken fog light, there's a bracket right here. It's a 15 millimeter head bolt that's gonna have to come off. And then also, while you're underneath here, unfortunately, you're gonna have to get your hand up here. Oh God, Chevy. Well, there's enough room to get a wrench in here, but it's just awkward. It'd be better if you could get it from the top side, but I don't think you can that easily. So I changed my mind, you can get it from the top side. You gotta have a couple extensions or a really long one and one of these swivel ends. You get in here and just pry back this rubber and then there's the bolt right there. I should also mention there's this little bracket right here that ties the lower valance to the frame so 10 millimeter bolt, take that guy out too. And then the very last bolt is tucked in behind there, so that's another treat. And it got the block heater plug in, which looks like that little gray bit right here it unplugs right there, so it should be easy. Some of the times these things you have to unplug it right at the block heater itself. And we got more genius engineering by General Motors, there's a plug right there. Definitely gonna need somebody to pull the bumper off and hold it while you can unplug this. Just not enough room to do it by yourself without pulling on the cord and wrecking the wires. Now I'm changing this bumper bracket and the tow hook because they are damaged from the accident. There's a new fog light for it. There's this plastic piece. This is bent, a new lower balance to go with it. And there you go. It's how to remove a front bumper for a 19 Silverado.